We're in a new module about applying ratios and rates. This is lesson 7.1, finding ratios from a table. We can represent real world problems involving ratios and rates with tables and graphs. We can find equivalent ratios and rates to make a table. Then we can use the table columns to make ordered pairs. Finally, we can graph the ordered pairs and connect the points with a line. Now back in fifth grade, in 9.2, 9.3, mostly chapter 9, we learned about order pairs and graphing. Those videos will be linked in this description for a review if you need it. If the difference between quantities is the same for every pair of terms, their relationship is additive. Here we have a 4 over a 1. There's a difference of 3, isn't there, between 4 and 1. Here we have a 5 over a 2, a 6 over a 3, a 7 over a 4. The first term has a difference of 3 to the second term. And we can find the next ratio by adding. And if you look at 4 over 1, it's not equivalent to 6 over 3, 6 thirds. This simplified would be 4 whole. This would be 2, wouldn't it? 6 divided by 3 is 2. 4 divided by 1 is 4. If the ratio of the quantities is the same for every pair, their relationship is multiplicative and they're equivalent ratios. We can find the next ratio by multiplying 4 halves by 2. And we can find the next one by multiplying 4 halves times 3. And we can find this one by multiplying 4 halves times 4, and so on. And 4 halves is equal to 16 eighths. They're equivalent ratios. Three packages of batteries contain a total of 24 batteries. Each package holds the same number of batteries. Complete the table. So we can see that there's some missing amounts here. Here's the packages. Here's how many batteries there are. We use the numbers in the first column to write a ratio of batteries to packages. So notice it flipped around. Here the packages are on top and the batteries are down below. We're flipping it around to write a ratio as 24 thirds to tell us how many batteries are in each package. We divide 24 divided by 3. This will give us a unit rate. We'll have a unit rate of 8 batteries to 1 package. And this is a multiplicative relationship because the amount of batteries is 8 times the amount of packages. So now we can complete the table by multiplying 8 by the number of packages. If we have 4 packages, 4 times 8 is 32, we have 32 batteries. And we can find this amount by dividing by 8. 48 divided by 8 is 6. Then we can go back to multiplication. 7 times 8 is 56. And 10 times 8 is 80. When the amount of packages increases by 1, the amount of batteries increase by 8. Let's try another one. For every three books that Dave reads, Bob reads nine. How many books would Bob read if Dave reads two? So we think we make a table of Dave's books to Bob's books. It's asking for a ratio that's less than the given ratio. We have three books to nine books. It wants to know two books to some amount. So because it's asking for a ratio that is less than the given ratio, we can solve this by finding the unit rate first. We have Dave reads 3 and Bob reads 9. We write a ratio of Bob to Dave. See how I flipped it around? As 9 to 3. So we can divide. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And our unit rate would be a 3 over a 1. That means Bob reads 3 and Dave reads 1. Then we can write an equivalent ratio by multiplying the unit rate by 2. So if this is a unit rate of 1 to 3, we can just multiply 1 times 2 is 2, 3 times 2 is 6. We know 
that Bob would read six books if Dave reads two. So we needed to divide to get the unit rate. Then we needed to multiply to find this rate. We found an equivalent ratio by multiplying the unit rate by two. And because we were solving with a unit rate, I don't want you to confuse a unit fraction with a unit rate. Unit fractions have one for their numerator. These are all unit fractions. Unit rates have a one as their second quantity. When written in fraction form, their denominator will be one. So here's a real quick review for your notes. A ratio is a comparison between two quantities of similar units or same units by division. If we have two cups of butter to one teaspoon cinnamon, we have similar units. These are cooking measures. This is a ratio. A rate is a comparison between two quantities of different units. So here we have miles and here we have hours. This is a distance. This is a time. So they're different units, that would be a rate. A unit rate, that's a rate with a second quantity that's one. So 40 miles in one hour would be a unit rate. So now we're finished with the first part of the lesson. We're gonna move on to the second part, graphing with ratios. Do you remember how to plot points for ordered pairs from last year, from chapter nine? Remember, if you don't remember, because it was a while ago, there are links in the description to do a really quick review. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.